Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you two nerds doing? Nothing. We're just hanging out. What do you want? Really? This is how you two hang out? Seems more like hanging out in Ohio. <laughs> you didn't even say the joke right, Billy. It's not even funny. Yes, it is. You guys probably just don't think it's funny because you guys have Ohio humor. <laughs> Billy, you really gotta stop watching TikTok. You guys are just jealous that I have an awesome for you page. And you guys probably have an Ohio for you page. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't even make sense, Billy. Boys, dinner's ready. Last one to the dinner tables from Ohio. <laughs> okay, boys, here's your dinner. What is this? Dinner in Ohio? <laughs> I'm not even hungry anymore, Mom. I lost my appetite. Yeah, me too. I'll eat later. What? You guys aren't eating? Only in Ohio. <laughs> Dude, Billy's going to run that Ohio joke into the ground. I know. If I have to hear him say Ohio one more time, I'm going to knock him into Ohio. 12 seconds later. Man, you guys missed out on a good dinner. What are you up to? We're having a catch. What's it look like we're doing? You're having a catch in the house? Ohio activities! <laughs> That's it. What? Okay, class, have a seat. I'm going to be giving your test back. Yo, how do you think you did on the test? I don't even want to talk about it, bro. Simon, here's your test. Oh, man, here we... Wait, what? So how'd you do? It says I got everything right on the test. Oh, good job, bro. Congrats. Yeah, but the teacher gave me a 99. Why didn't she give you a 100? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, teacher. Yes, yeah, Simon. I got everything right on the test. Why did you give me a 99? Well, in my class, I don't give out 100, so... What the... Why? Because there's no such thing as perfection in my classroom. But I did the best that I could. But that's the point of the lesson, is that you can always do better. Not on this. I didn't get a single thing wrong. Oh, so just because you got all the questions right, I should just give you a 100? Yes! That's how tests work. I'm not going to have you question me. Go to the principal now. I'm not going to the principal until you give me the vote of the principal now. Few moments later. Simon, you're breaking rules that I didn't even know were in the rule book. Why are you here? Oh, you're gonna love this. The teacher's mad at me because I got everything right on a test. Oh, you got a hundred. Good job. No, because she doesn't do that. She gave me a 99. Yeah, that's just not how math works. Exactly! Hey yo, what the shit? Smash, smash, smash! Bruh. Hey everybody, Grandma's here. Oh, there you are, Tommy. Here you go. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Grandma. Huh? <laughs> I smell a birthday card with money in it. I better go check this out. No way, Grandma. Thank you. And that's my cue. Oh, hi, Mom. How are you? What you got there, Tommy? A birthday card? Oh, I'll hold your money for you. Give me. Oh, man, I'm never going to see that money again. Hey, give my grandson his money back. He's perfectly capable of holding his own money. Ow, it's okay. I was just going to hold it for him. Here you go, Tommy. No way. Grandma got me my birthday money back. Thanks, Grandma. You're the best. Ah, oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Oh, hi, Grandma. What are you doing here? Ow, what was that for? That's for writing your grandmother out of the last 50 episodes of Living With Siblings. That's because you're always throwing a sandal at my head! Oh, really? Well, have another one. <laughs> Man, this is the best birthday I ever had. Grandma's back, everybody! Nice. Hey, Mom, um, I'm back from my field trip. Dad? You, you came back? Well, well, you were gone for a month, so I came back to spend some quality time with your mother. But now that you're here, um, I'm going back to the store to get the milk. He needs some milk! Honey, d d don't worry about him. Oh, where have you been? You, you said you were going on a one-day field trip to the zoo. It's been a month. Well, we never really made it to the zoo. Instead, we took a field trip to Africa. Let me explain. So, we're on the bus, right? Then all of a sudden, our bus driver gets a call from the zoo that's saying that the field trip is canceled because apparently some kid crawled into the gorilla cage and so they had to shoot the gorilla. 
anyways, um, I have Elon Musk's son in my in my class, and he started throwing a fit because he wanted to see the zebras. So Elon flew a rocket ship to our bus, picked our bus up, and we flew to Africa, and we kind of just lived there for a month. But I'm back now. What well, duh? Bye. Have a great time. No. Okay, class, welcome back to school. Uh, before I begin, I'm actually curious. What did everyone get for Christmas? Oh, I just got some. Oh my god, I got all the new designer clothes. Oh my god, she oh didn't my even god. get I to, speak even get to the power, speak. Bro. I got a bunch of brands like Gucci, Dior, Prada, Balenciaga, Givenchy. Oh, wow. Is that all? Simon, I'm surprised I didn't see you at the Gucci store. Of course not. No one did. We spend our money on normal clothes. Mmm, that sounds like poor people talk. What does she just call me? Simon, you're just mad because I can actually afford designer clothes. Then why are you wearing clothes from Old Navy? Yo, whoa, oh my Yo, god, just called her out like that. Who do you what? think you- No, cause how are you gonna brag about that and then wear Skechers to school? Whoa, this ain't the third grade. You are a fraud. Yo, bro, if you got Skechers on, get out my face, bro. Oh, bro. Simon, good. stop making fun of Jalissa's fit before I send you to the principal. You did the same thing to me! Why do I have- 12 seconds later. Simon, I'm just at a loss for what- what, what did you do this time? Jalissa was making fun of me because I don't wear designer clothes. Oh, I heard about that. You know all the clothes she got were knockoffs, right? Wait, what? Yeah, she spent like 10 grand on a fake handbag. You're fine. Aha! Uh -huh. That remember that- Okay, class, let's begin today's lesson. So, in biology, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Of course, I already knew that, given my PhD from Harvard. There she oh goes my again. God. Come on, can Gosh, we get one class? Up. Up. Excuse me, Simon, would you like to share something with the class? Uh, yeah, actually. Why do you always brag about your PhD? Because I need to show you dunderheads that I'm qualified to teach this class. We already know that. If you weren't, you wouldn't be here. Excuse me, you nincompoop should be Honored to have a Harvard PhD recipient as your teacher. Bro, oh my class. God, she's, she's doing it again. SpongeBob. You know something? When I got my PhD from Harvard 15 years ago. Okay, and what have you done since then? <gasps> Yo, dude, are you crazy? She got her PhD from Harvard. Her I won't tolerate this disrespect. Go to the principal's office now. I'm not gonna go until you stop. Go to the principal's office now. Few moments later. I might as well turn my office into an Airbnb at this point. What do you want? My teacher won't stop talking about her PhD she got from Harvard. We don't have any Harvard PhD teachers here. Wait, what? Oh, I know who you're talking about. She's lying. She never even went to Harvard. Are you kidding me? Nice. Here you go, sweetie. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Grandma. Oh, uh, no problem. No way, a hundred dollars? Sorry I'm late. Happy birthday, Tommy. Here's your present. Oh, you're here? Yeah, and I already gave him my present. Hundred dollars. No way, are you serious? Two hundred dollars? Thanks, Grandma! Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Oh, two can play that game. Hold on, sweetie, I think your grandfather messed up. Uh, here's an extra two hundred dollars. What? Really? Thanks, Grandma. Oh, you know what, Tommy? That card wasn't your only present. Here's an extra $300. Just remember who loves you more. Here you go. No way, are you serious? Thanks, Grandma. Game on. Tommy, I almost forgot. Here's an extra $400 from your favorite grandmother. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What'd you get your Social Security check this month? And here you go, sweetie. Here's $500 from your real favorite grandmother. Thanks. What, did you finally win a bingo? Here you go, sweetie. Here's $700 from your favorite, favorite grandmother. <laughs> here you go, sweetie. $1,000 from your favorite, favorite, favorite grandmother. Here you go, sweetie. $1,500 from your favorite grandmother. What'd you get, Bob's life insurance money? Here you go, sweetie. Here's $2,000 from your favorite grandmother. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Oh, no. I'm out of money. Well, I'm not. Check mate. Here you go, sweetie, from your real favorite grandmother. And oh, yeah, Mary. I got something for you. 
Really? You got something for me? What is it? This was the best birthday ever. Really, Anaya? But it wasn't my fault. How? How was this not your fault? I didn't mean to blow up the building. You blew up the building? No, just kidding. <laughs> But seriously, I didn't do it. Didn't do what? You know. Okay, clearly we're not getting anywhere. So please explain yourself before I remove your eyebrows. You just like me for will. Anaya! Okay! The teacher paired us up with our classmates. The buddy system. Why? And Miss Martin paired me with Ashley. Okay. I hate Ashley! Oh. And when we were walking, she told me I smell bad. Did you? Yeah, but she didn't have to say it. Did you unalive her? What? No, why would I do that? The old Anaya would have. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, someone said the wax figures were like candles. So... So what? I set one on fire. Anaya! What? I thought it would make me smell good. Okay, you know what? That's fine. At least no one got hurt. Well... <sighs> Remember that girl who said I was stank? Yeah. I didn't tell her the building was on fire. Oh my god. Bruh. Hey, bro, since when did you start wearing earrings? Bro, I've been wearing these. What you mean? Nah, you look, he started wearing them after you seen me with them. I look, he put you on. Nah. Bro, what are you talking about? I had them before I even knew you. Like, I really just be putting you shit, bro. Like, at least give me my credit. Nah, Jit, tripping. Ah, uh, so now Jit got an iPhone. Bro, stop doing this. Nah, everybody in the school got an iPhone now because they see me with one first. I put y'all on. Bro, how about you go put on some deodorant? Oh. Um, excuse me, teacher. I don't think you ever gave me the proper credit for putting you onto those glasses. What are you talking about? You don't even wear... Since when did you start wearing glasses? Bro, I was the first one wearing them. I put y'all on. Can I get my credit? Nah, just where he put me on the oxygen. This man tripping. That's crazy. Bruh. Hi, Mom. Can you write me something on a piece of paper for no particular reason whatsoever? Oh, yeah. I, I got time. What, what you need, honey? Okay, perfect. It starts, Dear Principal Caroline. Dear Principal Caroline. This is Mrs. McKay writing to tell you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that her daughter Penny. My daughter Penny. We're using legal names, all right. Has autism. A T E S M. I know how to. What, honey? You don't. What is this? What is? What is? What am I doing? Okay. Well, see, all my special needs friends get extra time at recess, right? Y and they can throw chairs at teachers and not get in trouble. Sweetheart. <laughs> Stop laughing and finish the skit. You're right, I'm sorry. Honey, they have special accommodations that you don't need. So I'm not special? Oh, you are. You are very special. In so many ways. But uh, honey, I can't write this in good faith. I, I, I can't. Do you want me to hate you? This was my get out of jail free card. I can do anything I want and have a whole bus to myself. Well, honey, honey, I can't just lie, especially about this. Hmm. Remember at the doctor's office last week? Yes. When your doctor asked how many alcohols you drink a week? That is very different. That is, that is really different. Dirty hypocrite. Oh. Hey, Billy, you want to get some payback on Michael and pull a prank on him? Are you serious? Of course I want to pull a prank on Michael. You're really going to help me? Yeah, why not? I'll go get the stuff we need. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be waiting right here. Oh, man, this is going to be epic. All right, I'm back. Here. Holy coca melons. Where did you get this nerf from? Grandma got it for me for my birthday. Man, Grandma always gets the best presents. This thing is so cool. But what are we going to do with it? What's the prank? All right, so Michael's on his way home from his friend's house. And as soon as he walks in that door, you're going to light him up. <laughs> That'll be so funny. He's not going to know 
what hit him? You're right, Billy. It's gonna be hilarious. Why don't you get some practice shots in while you wait? Good idea! I better get my accuracy down. I don't want to miss. Nice shots, Billy. I think you got it down. <gasps> I just heard a car door. That's Michael. Get in position! Okay, I'm ready! Alright, now remember, as soon as he opens the door, open fire. Ugh, what a long day at work. Eat lead! Nope, I was hiding here the whole time. We got you, Billy. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Oh, Cocomelons. Dad, I'm sorry. It was an accident. Oh, what the heck? Are you kidding me? After a long day of work, that's what I come home to. Billy, you're grounded. <laughs> oh, this isn't fair. And as always, it's Tuesday, so kids 10 and under eat free. That's why I love this place. Right, right, I get it, I get it. So how old are you? He's 10. I'm 11. He's 10. I'm 11. You'll be 11, you're 10. I'm 11. You're 10. I'm 11. I'm so sorry, he's 10. I'm 11. <laughs> he's 10. I'm 11. No. Are you dumb? Can you give us a quick moment? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I could just go grab some, some bread, bread. Hello? Mom. Yes. How old am I? You're 11. Told you. Oh. I'm gonna go with the ch